All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are in the competition series here, and we are in week three of our fourth season here on the channel, and we are currently on Leighton Lakes. We're back at one of the original maps of the game, and we are after this week the Roosevelt Elk with any 338. So we can use the new bolt action or we can use the original range master the single shot for the 338 and this week we will be going out with our new 338 bolt action right here we have got to try that out and we will be hunting down some Roosevelt elk where we are able to of the three awards we can still get one of each and that is the top three we can do that one more time these next few weeks so we'll be looking to do that with some diamonds maybe looking for other diamonds as well obviously looking for any trophies to put in our lodge while we were out here in the field and that second award we can still get is the sniper award which is the farthest single shot taken with any of the 338 rifles on a male roosevelt elk with all of our harvest checks again that's just one single shot we got to be able to take and see how far out we can get our render on an elk so we might be able to try to do that with this new weapon our third award we can go for yet is the Jackalope Award, which is the lowest scoring Roosevelt Elk with all the Harvest Checks packs. So we're looking for those little guys, the smallest ones possible. That is a lot of fun. I really enjoy going after the Jackalopes when I remember to look for them because you're always so focused on those big ones. Then you got to remember to, oh yeah, we're, we're after these guys too. So any of those three awards we'll be after along with, again, any trophy we can find. We want anything in the lodge. So really excited to get back here happy to be on Leighton Lakes and with the new rifles after the Roosevelt Elk so I hope you all enjoy the video let's get to it well maybe another chance here we are on Leighton here we have a pretty good sized buck there can't quite tell it might might be maybe he'll be our first diamond with our seven millimeter there Put him straight to the dirt. Let's go see if we finally did it. All right, here he is. Huh? I don't know. Ah, 253. <laughs> Got to be 255. Ah, the the quest for the seven millimeter. Oh well, that's all right. We'll keep pushing. Can't have it easy every time. But the seven millimeter just it does its job, especially for whitetail. Great whitetail weapon. Well, well, we have a contender in believe it or not, it is a black tail. Potentially, there's a five. He's a 169 to 197. They need to be 177. So potentially could be our first diamond with the new seven millimeter. So we will be trying that. Fingers crossed, we'll see if that happens. Well, here's probably as good as anywhere. Let's see if he's going to make it or not. I'm not sure. These guys like to troll me pretty good. Ooh, we don't want that one. <laughs> see if he'll be our first 7mm, our new 7mm. Wow. Boy, he doesn't look like a monster, but we should check him out and see if our 7mm has its first diamond. Alright, well we made it around. Here he is. I don't know. First diamond as a for the 7mm would be pretty awesome to be a black tail. No, 176.59. They need to be a 177.58. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. This poor 7mm. I've been hunting a ton with it. And we just can't close the deal. Pick just can't get it done. Not its fault, obviously. Not finding the diamonds for it. That's alright, what a beautiful animal, irregardless. 
I thought we had it, and the blacktail would have been an awesome choice for it. Well, somehow, I'm working around the lake, and I look off, and I just see antlers back there. Look at that. There's a level 5 rosy just out there, supposedly drinking on the hill. And now I'm going to have to lose him. <laughs> well, we know he's here. There he is, and of course he's facing the wrong... Oh, oh! <laughs> Would you quit? Gotta be moving all the time. Oh, ooh, almost got him. Mm. We're gonna take a brushy shot on him. I am tired of messing with this guy. The wind's not great. There we go. All right, 142. He's 325 to 397, and they need to be a 380. So, slight chance of making it, but he might be our first diamond with the new 338. That's what we're looking for. And of course, he moves again. That's good. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Now he's going down. We had a friend. All right, not big enough. All right, maybe. Maybe we finally found something. Even if he doesn't make it, it's a that's a pretty solid rosy for sure. All right, well here he is. Is he our first diamond with the 338? I don't know. He's pretty narrow looking there. Let's see. Diamond 394.38. Holy moly, that's a big one. I didn't even think he was big enough. <laughs> and here I am, like 394.38. I believe the leader is at a 383. Yeah, so wow. That's that's uh that's gonna set us in first place with less than two hours to go i have been hunting all the time that i've had free this weekend i have been hunting like crazy when i did have free time i have been on leighton lakes pounding their way trying to find some good rosies or any any of them but that there is a lot of points on this guy i really like that that he does look really good a little bit narrow but pretty cool looking rack 394.38 He's a 1075 on the weight and 147 yards. He is our first diamond with the new 338 bolt action. And right there, we double lunged him no problem at 150 yards. What a nice, awesome trophy to have. And we will get him entered into the competition. Let's see if we can't come away with a, with a first place on this. Not a lot to show for this weekend, but hey, Diamond Roosevelt, very happy to have him. That's going to do it for us here in the third week of this fourth season here on the channel of the competitions where we didn't get to put in as much time as normal. I had a lot going on this weekend, so wasn't able to put in as much time as I'd have liked on Layton, but when I could, I was on Layton going pretty hard for sure. But that being said, we only came away with one trophy this whole weekend. But it was the one trophy that mattered. And we did come away with first place for the weekend on the competition. That makes our second time in the top three. So the rest of this competition season, we will not be able to be in the top three. Now we can obviously still get the diamonds and interim for comp for the win to still uh, put them out there. But we just can't place in the top three. We still have one sniper and one jackalope award left for the rest of the season so we do have stuff to strive for besides just looking for trophies and diamonds but as far as this weekend we did get our 394.3 scoring roosevelt elk he was up there in the trees hiding on way off of the the drink zone so that's kind of interesting that uh, i would not normally have even seen him i was just buzzing through there and i normally just oh nothing out there keep on going but for something i just happened to look over and saw what looked like the tree swaying and it was his uh rack sitting there above the tree line that i happened to be looking at and uh 
I give it a good look and there he was so that was pretty interesting and we were able to work our way around even with the wind not in our favor we still were able to work in good enough to get that 338 in there and make a nice clean shot on him and that's where we're going to wrap it up this week short and sweet one and done and couldn't be much happier than that get us a first place win that was pretty uh pretty nice to have very happy that was able to work out at the final buzzer basically <laughs> it was pretty cool uh didn't see anything until then but we look forward to next week see what that's going to bring what map we're going to be on what species we'll be after and what kind of trophies we can be hunting down but if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long back to work on our next video until then.